Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So most people talk about organizing their pantries or their stuff, their belongings, their kids' toys, and I'm all for that. But there are some things that maybe you don't think to organize, and I'm gonna share what those things are today. So stay tuned and get excited because you are about to get so much more organized. If you're new, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a nationally certified personal trainer and nutrition specialist at fitstyle.com. That is the app and website where I train my clients. I am also the author of the cookbook, Cooking Without a Kitchen on Amazon, as well as the creator of Fit in 20 Minutes, which is my online pre-made workout plan, also on Amazon. It's 12 weeks long and completely customizable, even though it is pre-made. And on this channel, I love to make videos every week about lifestyle, motherhood, organization, cooking, cleaning, and travel. So if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. You just hit that red subscribe button down below and you won't miss out on new fun videos that come out every week. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing that you don't think to organize is your notes. Whether this is on an app, I use the notes app personally. I did a video all about it. I will link it up here. I'll link it below. It's a very helpful video. <laughs> so whether it's digital or on paper, you probably have notes that you need to organize, especially if they are paper, you just can accumulate a lot of paper clutter, but digital clutter is absolutely a thing. So I would definitely recommend organizing that because you may have a bunch of notes that maybe applied to when you were researching something and then now you don't need them. Next is emails. I use unsubscribe me and I will link them down below as well. And it's basically just a service that you can go through it. You log in and you can just mass unsubscribe from so many things and your inbox will be so much more peaceful. The next thing that I organize is my calendar. I use Google Calendar personally and I love it, but there are some things that need organized. And I don't necessarily mean decluttered in that I need to take something off the calendar, but something that I've done is actually add to it. I need to be reminded when people's birthdays are coming up because, well, no. Let me rephrase that. I am way too good at remembering anyone's birthday that I've ever met. It is a weird fact about me. I will share it with you. If I've met you once, I probably know your birthday and it will never leave me. I don't know why that is. It's neither here nor there. However, I do need to be reminded to buy them a gift in a timely fashion. So what I've done is anyone's birthday that I keep in my calendar, I also put an event that is recurring every year, just like their birthday, about a week before their birthday. So if this person's birthday is here, about a week before, I'm gonna put a reminder that shows up every year on that day that says, get that person a present. And it gives me a little wiggle room too. I am so, so happy that I started doing this because I've been way better about getting people their gifts on time. Because how embarrassing is it when I don't have a gift on time, but I remember everyone's birthday? And people close to me know that I remember their birthdays like freakishly well. So it's not like I have an excuse for not having a gift on time. <laughs> the next thing that I organize are pictures and videos on my phone. So I back them up onto Google Photos. They're completely safe there. And that just lets me free my camera roll a little bit. Cause like I was saying before, digital clutter is a thing. Next is your nightstand. It's not always used that much. I think, at least for me. So it could be completely organized because you hardly ever use it, or there could be a bunch of stuff in there that you have no idea why it's there. And if you don't know if it's there or that it's there, do you really need it? So just take stock of what's in there and see if it should stay or if it should go. The next thing that I think that most people don't think to organize are socks. My best advice here is to just start over. <laughs> you can have different types of socks, but within each kind of sock, like an athletic sock or a sock that you might wear with boots or something, just have the same ones over and over again. Because when you're folding laundry, you don't have to match them up. This is something I started doing in college and life has been better for it. The next thing to organize are books. And this would definitely be a decluttering type one because I think that most people don't reread the books or maybe won't as often. If it is something you really need to reread, I bet the library has it, but if it's something that you're not going to reread a lot, how many times can I say reread? 
If it is something that you find out that you want to read again later, the library will have it. You can request it at the library. If they don't have it, you could probably request it in any sort of format, whether it's ebook or paperback or whatever. The next thing to organize are drawers. So this could be your dresser drawers. It could also be a junk drawer in a kitchen where you keep like pens or whatever else you keep in there. Point is to look through and just make sure that things are put back in a nice and organized fashion so that they don't get out of control later. And that is it. There are a bunch of other things I'm sure on this list, but these are the things that really come to mind for me. So I wanted to share them with you. I hope you enjoyed this video about things that you don't think to organize. And let me know if there are any things that you think should be on this list down in the comments or just say hi in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love if you considered hitting that red subscribe button down below. I put out videos every week on motherhood, lifestyle, organization, travel, cooking, and cleaning. I would love if you stick around and be a part of it because I love sharing those tips with you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.